<laughs> Shortly after the tribunal's verdict had been delivered, Rebecca Kerubo retreated from her workplace at the Village Market shopping mall to her home in Gashie to digest the impact. She had endured months of intense suspense, especially because the tribunal probing the conduct of the Deputy Chief Justice decided to exclude her lawyers from participating in the proceedings. <laughs> Our client was merely telling the truth and nothing more. She just wanted justice. And it is now clear that the new constitution protects the lowly and the mighty in equal measure. With a ruling vindicating her claims, Kerubo thinks it's time to take the next step. We call upon the director of public prosecution to act Yes, on the criminal complaint that was lodged against Nancy, which is pending in his desk. The Director of Public Prosecutions has written to the tribunal requesting for a copy of its report and proceedings. The DPP has undertaken to review all material along with the evidence submitted by the police so that he can decide whether to initiate criminal charges against Baraza. In her statement, Kerubo, through her lawyers, noted that this was a lesson to those in public offices to conduct their affairs with humility. However, it should be noted that our client was not uh, on a revenge mission. Not in, indeed, on diverse dates, she had offered to forgive Nancy without any conditions or any intention of asking any favor, but the offer was not taken up. The incident at the village market in Gigiri came to light almost a week after it occurred when the media got wind of it. Kerubo claimed that Baraza had pinched her nose and told her she should know people before wielding a pistol threatening to shoot her. What followed after Kerubo filed her complaint to the police was an investigation by a committee of the Judicial Service Commission which recommended Baraza's suspension and a probe by a tribunal. The tribunal has given its verdict and it's now up to the president to dismiss Nancy Baraza from her employment as the Deputy Chief Justice and Deputy President of the Supreme Court of the Republic of Kenya. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Live at 9.